The shutter in your camera affects two things, subject motion and exposure. The shutter is a tool to control the amount of subject motion. By choosing the correct shutter speed, the photographer has the choice of showing motion or stopping motion within the image. This is one of the decisions to be made when setting up your shot. The numbers listed on your screen right now are standard shutter speeds found on most cameras. The little marking denotes seconds. Your camera may not go all the way down to 30 seconds or all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second, but all cameras will have 1 second to 1 1,000th of a second. The slower the shutter speed, the less ability you will have to stop motion. The faster the shutter speed, the more likely you will be able to stop motion. Keep in mind that showing or stopping motion depends on the motion of the subject to begin with and your film ISO choice. On the screen, you can currently see a little pinwheel spinning around. Now, let's take a look at some images that we have taken of that same pinwheel moving. Some were taken with slow shutter speeds, all the way up to faster shutter speeds. The 1 15th of a second image shows more motion than the 1 60th of a second image. As well as the shutter being used as a tool for composition, the shutter is also half of the control of exposure. The aperture is the second part of the equation needed for correct exposure. Longer shutter speeds allow more light to strike the film or sensor. Shorter shutter speeds reduce the amount of light striking the film or sensor. Shutter speeds are measured in fractions of a second. Moving a full stop from one adjacent shutter speed to the next allows either double or half the amount of light through, depending on which way you move. For example, Having an original shutter speed of 1 60th of a second and then moving to 1 1 25th of a second will allow half the amount of light through. The images that you currently see on your screen were taken with a one stop decrease in exposure value by only changing the shutter speed. Therefore, the 4 second exposure is twice as dark as the 8 second exposure. The 2 second exposure is twice as dark as the 4 second exposure and so on. Looking at it the other way, the 1 8th of a second exposure is twice as bright as the 1 15th second exposure. The 1 quarter second exposure is twice as bright as the 1 8th second exposure and so on.